hello everyone welcome to the another video of the testing class so today we will be covering about the recent interview in december 2022 regarding infosys automation testing l1 technical round so let's start so i have divided this interview in different stages like if some questions are related to manual testing then i club those uh, manual testing interview questions in a block and second is like coding interviews i keep those interview question different blocks so let's start so in manual testing the first question is difference between regression a regression testing and retesting so we need to i mean this is very important question we need to i mean uh, we need to know about the details of regression why we do that and what is the meaning of retesting second and second question so this is the second question is scenario based question that was asked in this interview so the question is if component is not developed yet can we start testing or we should wait for the same like can qa proceed with the testing or not the another example of the scenario based question is example a rest of the component have already developed and deployed but your component alone is pending so can we proceed with the testing or not so this is hypothetical situation based question you need to uh, be smart or you need to answer uh, about it like uh, uh, you should not wait for the module to be delivered you have to start testing uh, once the uh, code is being uh, developed you can start writing your test case and you can define something like that in the interview next is <coughs> agile methodology like what model you are following so if you are following any different model then you can explain that if you are following agile then question will be related to agile what are the steps and driver so this is related to uh, your top down or bottom up approach testing so you need to have the answer of why we use stub and what is the uh, use of driver in top down to bottom uh, up approach uh, scenario what phases uh, of testing you have involved in your project so this is like phases so in what phases you have involved in your project so if you started with the uh, i mean uh, discussion part or planning you contributed your point in uh, planning of the story or as well as sprint planning then you can explain like i started with the planning and then after giving my point i start uh, writing my test case once test cases are writing we used to give the test demo and what all uh, things you are using in your current organization or current project you can explain uh, to the interviewer that this is how you used to involve in testing difference between smoke and sanity so many interviewers used to ask this question when why we use smoke why we use sanity i mean what are the exit criteria of smoke san smoke test or sanity test next is so this is all about manual testing now we move to api testing so api header and method in postman request response header so what all headers and method we use we can use while testing the api if you are using postman the question may be related to the request and response header what of a header we can add and different type like uh, if i want uh, the file as json then i can use type slash json or something like that as a header next is error code 4033 uh, so you should know when we used to get these error code what are the reason behind it what is 502 and why we used to get the 503 next database related question so if you have mentioned that you have worked on database or interviewer might ask you about some database question so question are do you involve in DD test, dv testing or not if yes then what are the dml commands and difference between them next is truncate delete and drop difference between these three things can we roll back truncate can we roll back delete can we roll back drop and something like that you can find the answer uh, and uh, google it and, and find the answer you will know about it and you have to answer something like that third maybe a query 
related to database like select employees from ta uh, employee table or any table where employee id is x y or uh, employee id 1 2 3 or any any integer value so you need to find the number of employee em the next is coding so in this coding part enter will ask you about the coding first is difference between abstract class and interface why we use interface fully interface fully abstract and abstract is partially abstract we can have concrete as well as your non-concrete method in abstract class so you must be using them or you can find the answer next is difference between list and set next is can be overload static or not if not why if yes why can be overrided the static so the question belongs to the static next is link list example use of so as you are using array and li uh, list in your project so interview will ask you about more on link list what is the advantage of link list over list write the program how to reverse a string so this is very simple uh, uh, program you can uh, you have to reverse this string that's it next is selenium based question that is your automation related question so write code to clear command and enter detail in the text box using selenium and you can use any language next is protocol used in api testing http so if you have used uh, api automation or you have mentioned then pro what all protocol you have used in uh, uh, api testing next is when we are automating web how to handle ssl how to certify this ssl certificate and when certificate error is gone how to maximize the browser cucumber hooks if you are working on a cucumber framework using bdd BDD framework using Cucumber so you can explain about Cucumber hooks what are the uses of them and how we can use them last question is debugging in Eclipse how we can debug your code in Eclipse so this is all about Infosys L1 round so if you have any question please ping me thank you for watching please like and subscribe the channel thank you